Nike next percent. Would I buy it again? All right, I gotta answer it real quick. The answer is yes, 100% yes. And that's because I am a runner who's taking it seriously and really going after personal bests and finally breaking some goals. So I have a goal of a sub 120 half marathon and also a sub three hour marathon. And I 100% would be wearing these um, for a few reasons. So real quick, I did just run a half marathon with those on and had the best time I've ever had and as far as actually running in them and literally had the best time I've ever had. So an hour and 21 minutes on my half marathon, which is a roughly around a 610 um, minute mile. So I will put a lot of credit to, to these shoes, but not all credit. So I definitely had the biggest month ever, the month before as far as training, but I wasn't doing a ton of speed work. So the reason why I give these a lot of the um, reason as to why I had a personal best is for a few reasons. One, they're just so springy, which gives a ton of energy return and you can feel it. I felt uh, really good by the time I finished my half marathon, as far as my legs. Um, just felt absolutely fantastic. Felt like I could have kept going. And my second reason is just because of the, the Zoom X foam and the, it, the, the ergonomics of it, the way it uh, rolls off, the light weight. Um, my cadence was just absolutely uh, on point, super fast. Uh, even when I was feeling a little bit tired, I felt like it was fairly easy to keep a high cadence and faster miles. So, um, yeah. So before these, I was running in Saucony Endorphin Speed 2 uh, and really enjoyed those, very comfortable, those are yeah, I had a lot of success with those, but I knew I wanted to take my game to the next level. And so that's why I had purchased these. Full disclosure, I did not pay full price for these. So when I say, would I buy these again? The answer is yes, I would pay full price for these, even though I didn't pay full price. I ended up getting them for around 140 bucks at the Nike outlet store um, through a few discounts on the clearance section. And then also they have a, or at least they had a 20% off if you downloaded their app. So got a really good deal on them and so excited I did because I have been eyeballing these for a while and was able to try them on and absolutely love them. So, so some specs, there is a 40 millimeter in the heel and then 32 millimeter in the forefront, which gives it about a, which gives it an eight millimeter drop. You definitely feel it, um, but I actually really enjoyed that. It does have a full carbon plate going all the way through, which made it incredibly uh, fun to run in, but then also gave you a bunch of toe off uh, springiness. So, um, very lightweight in my size, which I wear in size nine and a half to 10. These ones I bought in nine and a half, and it's a, it is seven ounces for this shoe, which is incredibly lightweight. So absolutely 100%, I would buy these again at full price. I'm looking forward to a third version from Nike for these, and I'll probably buy those, uh, which is why you're able to find these Nike Next% Percent twos for cheaper, because I'm pretty positive they're coming out with a three here soon. So, all right, that's my review. Absolutely love them. Yes, I'd buy them again. If you are searching for personal bests and you take running very seriously, I would highly recommend them. Uh, if you're a pronator, probably not the best shoe. I do pronate slightly and I could feel that. Uh, luckily, I was able to just run on the other side of the road where I wasn't pronating quite as much on my left foot and that worked out perfectly for me. So, 
All right, thank you so much. As always, let's thrive together.